water. It is one of the most essential elements our bodies need, but there are dangers to our bodies that lurk in some water. With me this morning to explain all of this as part of our ongoing My Wellness series is Dr. Alan Leff. He is the Vice President of Quality and Production at Primo Water, and he's here to help us wade through the truths about what's in the water we drink. Dr. Leff, thanks for joining us. Good morning to you. Thanks. Happy to be here. Happy to talk to you about this because I'm trying to get my family personally to drink more water, and we always hear about how important water is for us. I know the importance. My family's listening. There are thousands of families out there going through the same thing. Why is water so important? Well, main reason is, is that we absolutely need to have our bodies hydrated for life. Um, you can live probably less than three days if you drink no water, get no fluids into your body. So it's absolutely essential to have water. That would be a great reason. Yeah, good reason. You can live. <laughs> you need it for life. Yeah, right, right. So in, in uh, 2004, the National Academy of Sciences released a study mm -hmm. that basically described how much water men and women should have mm -hmm. on average basis. Okay, men need about a thousand mils of water. Women need about 720. That's about four glasses of water. That's okay. nothing. Right. That's not bad. And the rule of thumb is eight by eight. You should have eight eight ounce glasses of water a day. Yeah. Now you do get some water through your food, right? But it's typically not enough. Mm. And so it's more important then that you get the fluids, the balance, really from drinking water. And we recommend, of course, bottled water because of its taste and, and minimization of health risks. Sure. And I do want to get into that with you here in just a minute. I want to talk for a second, though, about tap water because there are a lot of people who choose to drink tap water for a number of reasons instead of paying for the bottled water. And we hear this controversy and debate all the time about whether or not tap water is safe. Your take on this. Sure. So my perspective is, is, is municipalities in general do a great job uh, producing potable water, water that we can drink, mm -hmm. right? But there are times times of the year when those the chemicals get out of balance and and there's more there are more contaminants in mm. the water mm -hmm. bottled water every bottle must meet the FDA requirements so it's a, a very tough standard that has to be met. So then are you saying that people should drink bottled water all the time? Absolutely. You are saying that. I am okay. saying that. <laughs> right, exactly. Because no calories, right? It really is great tasting. It's the best way to, to hydrate you. Um, if you can make it convenient, mm -hmm, right, by having mm -hmm. a dispenser in your home, in your kitchen, um, so you've got great tasting water, it's healthy for you, um, you make it convenient, it can be hot, cold, it can be room temperature, what a great way to, to get the water into your system to keep you healthy. Now, I do get that, but here's the thing. For me personally, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers out there feel the same way, what if you want to drink clean water, but you want to lessen your carbon footprint? Right. So you got to think about even in municipalities, they have to pump that water all over the, the, the municipality, all over the city. So it's not that there's a zero carbon footprint for municipalities. However, um, all the water has to be delivered. Mm -hmm. um, at Primo Water, we've done some analysis of that, and the most efficient way of delivering bottled water is take it in a three or five gallon bottle, mm -hmm. get it in your grocery store, in your big box store, um, because that minimizes the carbon footprint. The bottles that we have are used over 40 times, mm -hmm. and then when we're done using them, those bottles get ground up and are recycled again. So again, it's minimum impact on our carbon footprint. I do want to take a closer look at this, so let's take a walk over here, because I think it's a beautiful looking machine. I want to ask you, though, more about that filtration process, because I think that's something that's important, and I know for new moms, for you know mothers who have growing children, even for adults. So talk to me about this filtration process. Sure, so the bottle that's in the bottom of this dispenser, a right, five gallon bottle, um, the water that we produce goes through a nine step process which includes multiple steps of mechanical filtration, water softening, we add, we then take the water and run it through a reverse osmosis system. It takes that water down to a 99.99% purity. Good so it's a you. very That's high great. level of purity. We've removed chlorine from it, we've removed the disinfection byproducts, so a very pure water. We then add a proprietary package of minerals to give Primo water its unique taste, mm -hmm. right? And we want to make sure that Primo water tastes the same everywhere all the time. I love that. So that's one of my mantras, right? right? So, um, and then the bottles which are returned are sanitized to make sure that they're very clean 
and then we fill the bottles with Primo water and then we send it off to the store. I would assume that better taste would make people want to drink more water, right? Absolutely. So we've done a lot of testing and three out of four people prefer Primo water to the top national brands. Four out of five people prefer Primo water to tap water when you do the side by side, side testing. By side. side by side testing. Speaking of that, let's see if we can make it five out of five. So I'm going to go ahead and taste the water that, that you, you have here if you don't mind. Thank you. Terrific. Let me put a little more sure. in my glass here. This is room temperature water. I like room temperature. Yeah, we talked about that. Cheers. Cheers to your good health. Thank you. Very good. My pleasure. Thank you so much for coming by and sharing Primo water with us this morning. Thank you very much. And if you want to know more information about the filtration process or to test your knowledge about water, simply head to the website. It's primowater.com. Cheers.